Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Pachaka in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the uh, Weather Now link. Late Thursday night update, not quite midnight, but almost about 11:45. Just looking at some new information coming in. Uh, dealing with uh, the potential of actually more than likely some heavy showers and strong thunderstorms during the overnight and specific specifically towards um uh, daybreak on friday so let's get started first the high temps today today meaning uh thursday uh topped out in the uh, lower 80s of course the humidity uh much much higher than um what we've had the last couple of days so with that high humidity there'll be some more fog during the overnight into early friday morning and uh, turning st uh, stormy by daybreak, showers and some heavier thunderstorms, I think the window of opportunity here is sometime between 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. on Friday, specifically at around uh, sunrise. And the concern here is that some of these storms may be locally strong, some downpours. Good news, Friday evening, Friday night, um, we've got some dry weather on the way. This sets the uh, stage for some hot weather over the weekend. Nothing extreme or record-breaking. But it will be in the upper 80s to near 90. All right, here's the latest satellite and radar composite as of uh, almost midnight, not quite. You see some precipitation off to our west, which doesn't look like much right now. But uh, here's the situation, and we're tracking both a, a warm front and a cold front. Let me show you right in here, these red lines. This, this will advance to the east, and both will act as triggers to set off uh, some storms overnight early tomorrow morning. And then again, a, a slight chance during a Friday afternoon. It'll be warm and muggy uh, behind that front. We've got some decent weather for Friday evening and into uh, Friday night. In the meantime, we are looking at, um, that is the Barry. The wind's now up to 50 miles per hour. And the uh, circulation uh, still over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, just south of uh, New Orleans. Here's the latest coordinates. Winds of 50, and it is moving, uh, just drifting to the west at um, at five miles per hour. So the anticipated track takes it uh, as landfall uh, on the Louisiana coastline by Saturday as a, either a strong tropical storm or perhaps even a minimal hurricane, though technically it's not being forecast to become a hurricane, but the winds are just shy of hurricane force. But the wind, not really the big, big concern here, but unfortunately copious amounts of flooding rain as the storm moves inland. These systems, even if they're just tropical storms, can produce just incredible amounts of rain. So flooding will continue, both fresh water due to rain and then ocean flooding due to the surge. The, uh, the, in other words, the, the ocean, the water, uh, being pushed along the coastline. So we'll keep you updated on uh, Barry. In the meantime, we'll get you closer to home here. We'll take you through this uh, forecast hour by hour. And uh, take note. <clears throat> now watch the time bar up on top. We're going to go here to, this is about 5 o'clock in the morning. And this is our, our concern here is um, some of these storms be coming through, uh, some heavy downpours. And, you know, not out of the question, um, seeing signs that there may be some uh, rotation in some of these storms. So anytime you get that, even though it's just a small chance, anytime you see that, uh, you know, there's always a tip off that some of these storms could be strong with some damaging wind. So this is around 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. They don't last very long. Now advance this to 7 a.m. and the activity is still over our area but starting to shift to the east. And then notice by mid to late morning it's out of here. And we start to get breaks of sunshine through the cloud cover. It'll be a warm and humid day. Those spots that get enough sunshine, at least partially, are going to warm up into the mid-80s by mid-afternoon. And it'll feel warmer with the high humidity. Now notice the precipitation in the afternoon is, is clearly not as widespread as what we'll have at daybreak. This, a few isolated spotty showers or thunderstorms may pop up. These are like 10, 15, 20 minutes. They're gone kind of a deal. Uh, so widely scattered. Uh, so just kind of a quick interruption in the afternoon. But, I mean, we get enough sunshine, at least partially, to get these temperatures up into the mid and upper 80s. So a warm, very humid day. And then look at Friday evening, Friday night. Skies are clear. Your Friday night plans are looking good. So early in the morning, again, specifically 4, 5, 6, 7 a.m., heavy showers and perhaps some strong uh, thunderstorms starting off in the 70s. Now during the afternoon, a blend of clouds and sunshine, kind of like, a, like, um, like Florida, warm, humid, maybe a brief pop-up, 10, 15-minute shower, a thunderstorm in a few spots. If you catch one in the afternoon, again, doesn't last long, and then things are clearing out, drying out Friday evening, Friday night. Beaches will have fog and showers during the morning, a little bit of hazy sun for a while in the early afternoon. And then uh, some additional pop-up showers in the afternoon and uh, ending in the early evening. Air temperature 70, water temp 71. 
Uh, if there's any dry periods at the beach, it would be from roughly uh, late morning through probably early afternoon. All right, seven-day forecast. Heat is on for the weekend. It's not extreme. It's not record-breaking, but you know, both Saturday and Sunday have sunshine. Upper 80s to near 90. 85 Monday, and we start to kick the temperature up uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week with the heat perhaps peaking on Wednesday with temperatures that may very well be well into the 90s in the middle of next week. So in a nutshell, we're going to watch some strong for some strong thunderstorms around daybreak Friday, and then the activity not as widespread during the afternoon. A little bit of sunshine is going to heat things up on your Friday afternoon. Michelle is in pretty soon, actually. Um, so that uh, she has her forecast on Eyewitness News starting at 4.30 a.m. You want to check in with her. She'll be looking at the radar and seeing just how robust some of these thunderstorms may be around 5, 6, 7 o'clock on your Friday morning. That's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in, and we'll talk to you soon.